Making Learning Your Own or Why We Concept Map. Hello, it's Catherine Morritt here from the Regional Learning Specialist team. Have you ever been told that if you want to do well in exams, you will have to work harder? I have had students tell me that they will study harder. And my question to them is, how will you study harder? What tactics will you use? And how will other people know that you are studying harder? If we think about studying smarter rather than harder, then we can hone in on some tactics to do that. Other people will know you are studying smarter because you can demonstrate the tactics you are using. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the benefits of concept mapping both as a way to make effective notes and as a way to plan your responses to extended answer style questions. And you will be able to discuss the benefits of concept mapping yourself. During the examination preparation sessions, we discussed how solo taxonomy shows the hierarchy of both learning and answering questions. We can use the operational verbs from the syllabus glossary to visualise how learning and planning an answer looks. Check out the green symbols for each skill. Recall that for every objective, we could identify a key idea, describe the separate characteristics of that idea, explain the relationships between the characteristics, and then analyze and apply ideas to new situations. If you look at the symbols for both explain and apply, these symbols are starting to look a little like concept maps. Can you see the lines between the green separate ideas on these symbols? The lines show the relationships between concepts. One of the challenges of learning alone and studying alone is to make sense of the textbook and to get yourself to a stage where you make the learning your own. You know when you have done this when you can explain and or evaluate a concept. I have discussed this in a previous tutorial and shown how we can build a concept map to show the relationships between concepts. So let's look at an example of some text about the cell, the basic unit of life. Have you ever read a chapter in your textbook, highlighted key terms or key concepts, and then tried to make sense of the writing to make it your own? You should be able to identify the key ideas, describe the key ideas, and link concepts to explain the key ideas to another person. This is what you're doing in an exam. Remember also the importance of the operational verbs in exam questions. Recall that describe means to tell about the properties of an object, like a cell and its organelles, for example. Explain means to link cause and effect so that an example could be to explain how the organelles function. Analyze could use your compare and contrast or predicting skills to tell how the organelles, sorry, how the organelles work together to help the cell function. You could be asked to make judgments in a discuss type question. All this helps your communication skills and ability to plan for extended response questions. So concept mapping can help improve your examination marks. Concept mapping also helps us practice our critical and creative thinking skills. And so it helps us to learn a subject deeply. So now it's your turn. This is an exam style question you may recognize. Discuss the benefits of concept mapping. I would like you to make a concept map to plan for a, such an answer. Here is an example of a written plan. First, identify the concept you're talking about. A concept map is a type of graphic organizer that helps us organize and represent knowledge of a subject. Describe. Concept maps start with a main idea or concept and then branch out to show how that main idea can be broken down into specific topics. Explain. The key terms and concepts are written down. Arrows link the key terms and concepts. 
the key terms and concepts at each end of the arrow are the starting and final words of a sentence. Verbs and prepositions are written along the arrow. So this completes the sentence and shows the relationship between the, the, sorry, the key terms and concepts. Finally, we discuss that concept mapping helps us practice our critical and creative thinking skills and so helps us to learn deeply. Concept mapping helps us plan our extended responses and so concept mapping can help improve your examination, examination mark. Here are some other benefits of concept mapping and you can include these in your concept map. Concept maps help students brainstorm and generate new ideas. They encourage students to discover new concepts and the propositions that connect them, allowing students to uh, more clearly communicate ideas, thoughts and information. They also help students integrate new concepts with older concepts and they enable students to gain enhanced knowledge of any topic and evaluate the information. As an exercise, you should draw a concept map of the benefits of concept mapping for learning and for planning extended answer style examination questions. If you did this, then you would be teaching yourself to study smarter, not harder. If you copy your concept map onto your class notebook that we all share under your own name, then I can have a look at your concept map and give you some feedback on it. Once you've done that, then you'll have more time up your sleeve to do some enjoyable things like eating out with your friends, going for a swim perhaps, or playing a few games. Okay, have fun with your concept mapping. Show me what you've done and I'll get to talk to you sometime soon. All the best.